California's deadliest wildfire, the campfire, was watched worldwide, with many hearts aching for the people of Paradise. For one Ashland teen, the story hit close to home, and now he's using his unique skills to help people in Paradise who are just like him. That's our top story tonight at 6. Right now I'm sitting alone. This will be fun. Two days a week, every week, this is where you can find 15-year-old Lindsey Brown. Not many people find their passion early in life, but Brown knew this was it since he was a toddler at his very first state fair. Well, once I saw the blacksmith, you couldn't get me away from him. Could barely speak, but I wanted to do that. Unfortunately, blacksmithing isn't something that's taught to toddlers, but mom convinced a local artist to show him the ropes once he hit his teens. I said, he's only 13, but I'll be there at every class. And after the third lesson, Paul said, hey kid, I want you to come work in my booth with me. Brown loves blacksmithing so much, he could do it all day. But lately, he's been doing it for others. It's fair to say I've made, I think, hundreds of them. He's been making and selling these roses and heart necklaces and donating the money made to campfire victims. The devastating wildfire that wiped out the town of Paradise, California, hit close to home for Brown. I lived in Middletown where the Valley Fire happened and a lot of people contributed to help with that and I figured I could at least try and give something back. What started as a small way to help turned into a big project. Thousand dollars was my goal of, it'll be fun to try and get there, like, yeah, it'll take a while. Well, first night got a thousand dollars, then for the week after I got it up to two thousand. I didn't have much free time after that. Have him hit that goal in just a couple of hours and then go beyond that goal. Seeing how well he's handled that allowed me to feel pretty proud of how he's doing and who he's become. Brown decided he wanted to help kids just like him. So he'll be donating the money specifically to students at the Inspire School of Arts. It seemed rather appropriate. Helping art students by fueling his passion and hopes that they can continue kindling theirs. If you would like to help the cause, 100% of profits from the rose and heart necklaces will be sold until Monday, December 31st. You can find them on 3stumpforge.com. The Browns will also be hand-delivering the $2,000 they've raised so far sometime next week. About 100 students will be helped from that project.